brand new excavator. Skid steer, dozer, excavator, crane. And that is an antique dozer right there. Asphalt, paver. Yeah, I'd love to have that little tiny excavator right there. I'd love to have something like that. Wheel loader. Compactor. Couple graders. Street sweeper. Let me just comment. This is a Sunday morning. Church hasn't let out yet. So we're doing really good. Riding through here. Once church lets out, this road, this road's going to be crammed with idiots who don't know how to drive the speed limit. We got lost back in the 90s. And we somehow we ended up on this road, 143. And we decided to stay on 143 and see where it goes. And I want to say it was about 1996. And we followed the road signs on 143 all the way to where they turned into Tennessee 165. You might know that as the Chirahela Skyway. And I'm going to tell you, it is probably the best time that we've ever been lost in our lives. There were three of us, another excavator, dozer. There were three of us, and uh, we rode the Chirahela Skyway, 1996. Who would have ever thought that that road even existed? And I want to say it had only been open a year or two when we happened to find it. And by the time we made it to Teleco Plains, Tennessee, all of us had a fuel light on. And I want to say I was sucking fuel up in the bottom of the tank. I was happy to find a gas station. And then once we, once we left Teleco Plains and headed back to Franklin, North Carolina, the wheels were turning in all three of our heads. Back then we used to run chatterboxes and uh, we were discussing the next day's ride. And the next day, I'm going to say there was probably seven or eight of us who all jumped on our motor scooters and we left Franklin, Tennessee and headed for the Chirahela Skyway. We didn't go the same route up 28. This time we went across way Bald Road and then jumped on 129 and then ran to the Skyway. And then the restaurant Telecafe in Teleco Plains. In the 90s it was a much better restaurant than what it is today. Um, but we went to Telecafe for lunch and it was a good ride. It was a great meal. And now some almost 30 years later, it's not, it's not great like it was back in the 90s. Robbinsville sucks. Franklin, North Carolina sucks. You can't throw a rock in Franklin, North Carolina without hitting a Democrat. I won't get into that, but it's pretty much a sanctuary city at this point. Stay away from Franklin, North Carolina. But we're leaving Robbinsville, North Carolina right now. Um, this video, I just wanted to show you how much equipment was on that one little section of road uh, that's yeah, it's, I, I can only imagine what that road's going to be like when it's done. 
But hey, thanks for watching that, this video. Um, I'm not going to make any more videos for today. I'm just going to go ahead and shut the camera off and listen to music for the rest of the day. But this was my Sunday before Labor Day trip. It is, the clock says it just turned 12 o'clock noon time. And I hope you all have a wonderful Labor Day. Thank you for watching my video.